There are some new residents downtown that are catching a lot of attention on social media and in the city. A family of foxes has taken up residence in Millennium Park. They've been spotted there over the last few weeks. A mother and her three kids have been cruising throughout the park. Liza Lehrer is the assistant director of the Urban Wildlife Institute, and she's joining us now to talk a little bit more about this. Nice to see you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. All right, give me the background. How often are they being spotted? Have they sort of made themselves at home or is it still pretty difficult to see them? I think they have, yes. I think they're, um, you know, fairly active and, you know, foxes tend to be more active at night. So you're probably not gonna see them as much in the middle of the day, but um, they'll start to sort of emerge in the evenings and maybe still be a little active in the early morning hours. Um, and yeah, foxes are in general pretty urbanized animals. They're pretty used to being around people. Um, so it's not going to be super unusual to kind of see them out and about um, playing and kind of frolicking, especially for yeah. the, the young ones. But they're probably a lot more scared of us than we should be of them. Is that the case? Absolutely. So, um, you know, even though you might see them out and about and they're not, you know, running away from people, they are trying to keep a healthy distance. And so we really encourage folks to, um, you know, give them their space, give them that um, room for them to do their kind of natural red fox things um, and not get too close. Just really take this opportunity to observe, don't disturb, and um, take the opportunity to really just see and appreciate urban nature right here in Chicago. Yeah, and as we were talking, you said, look, this is really a benefit because it shows that the wildlife population is thriving in urban settings. Explain to folks what that means and why it's so important. Absolutely. So, you know, at the Urban Wildlife Institute, we really feel strongly that cities can be um, really important components of wildlife habitat, um, especially if we design them in ways that are beneficial both for, for humans and for wildlife. I think having these red foxes here in Millennium Park really demonstrates how Chicago has a wealth of green spaces that provide really important habitat for, for urban wildlife. Um, and, you know, they're not just kind of passing through this park, they're actually staying there, they're having young there, um, and they're foraging right there in the park. We've seen them, um, you know, nab some small mammals, some rodents, some, some rabbits, even some birds. So. Um, they're really taking advantage of, of the park and the, the beautiful green space and the habitat mm -hmm. that it provides. And we're seeing the pictures as we're talking to you. Beautiful pictures there of them. I do want to ask you if people run into them, let's say somebody's out at Millennium Park and they happen to spot them, what should they do? I would just keep your space. So really give the space to the red foxes. Um, you know, if you sort of an, encounter them or get closer than you intend, just kind of back up. Um, you know, really just respect uh, the space um, there for them um, and, you know, really just enjoy watching them because they're, they're really a, a beautiful, beautiful animal. And it's so cool to see um, these, these kits kind of playing and, and enjoying the park. All right. My last question. This is the toughest one. Have we decided, are we going to name them? Do we have any ideas what we want to do? Well, I mean, Chicago wildlife does tend to um, garner a lot of attention and get some names. So I think that would be a fantastic idea. I mean, I think right. what I love to see about these red foxes is that people are really excited about them. And we're hearing all kinds of stories about Chonkasaurus and uh, plovers. <laughs> the plovers, yeah. 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 So All there's, right. you know, this is just another wildlife celebrity and a great, it's great to see um, Chicagoans get so excited yeah, about it. It's fun. All right, Liza, we appreciate your time. Thank you for joining us. She's with the Urban Wildlife Institute. We appreciate your time. Thank you so much.